There are nearly 200 moons in our solar system, and over a third of those belong to a single planet, Jupiter. Jupiter has the most moons of any planet, and if that's not enough, astronomers recently discovered 12 new ones to add to the list. Jupiter now has 79 known moons uh, in the solar system. That's Scott Shepard. He's an astronomer at the Carnegie Institution of Science who spends his time searching for new objects in our solar system. Already, he and his team have discovered evidence of a potential planet beyond Pluto called Planet Nine, and now 12 new moons of Jupiter, including the weirdest one yet. We believe these objects were actually probably captured by Jupiter uh, a long time ago, and they have, uh, they're grouped in, in their orbits. Jupiter's moons are sort of like opposite lanes on a highway. Two of the new moons are in a group that orbit in the same direction as Jupiter's spin, called the prograde group, while nine of the other moons orbit in the opposite direction, farther out in the retrograde group. And each moon stays in its respective lane, except for the last moon. It's a rebel. It orbits in the same direction as Jupiter's spin, similar to the first new moons, but it's not part of the same group. Instead, its path takes it into the realm of the nine moons that orbit in the opposite direction. So it's basically going down the highway in the opposite direction. So it's like going against the traffic, and that makes it a very unstable situation. Shepard suspects that situations like this have happened in the past, which helps explain why Jupiter has so many moons in the first place. Its powerful gravitational pull allows it to capture large passing objects, that then collide with each other, forming dozens of new, smaller moons. It's been about a decade since the last uh, moons around Jupiter were discovered. Uh, these new ones were found because uh, technology has gotten better and better over the years. Uh, we're using uh, the most advanced digital cameras uh, in the world, and go, uh, we're going a little deeper than people have in the past as well. So that's why we're able to find these, uh, these new moons. The moons are too small to see with the average telescope, measuring only a few kilometers in size. It took one of the most powerful digital cameras in the world, the Dark Energy Camera, to spot them. Now all that's left is to name the new moons. Shepard and his team already proposed a name for the rebel moon, Valetudo, after the great-granddaughter of the Roman god Jupiter, also known as the goddess of health and hygiene. For the other 11 moons, Shepard said they might let the public help out. So what would you name these new moons? Tell us in the comments. Who knows, maybe it'll go down in the history books.